plan was for this stream, since there really isn't a whole lot to talk about, was to go into, go back to the top 100 movie list. Because we have, people have asked about it, I haven't been back to it. It's been like a year since we've done anything with the top 100 movie list. And I haven't looked at it, I haven't checked it, I haven't done anything. Yeah, we're just chatting now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm done with FIFA Mobile. I don't have anything else to say tonight. And it's such a late night stream that there really isn't anything else to talk about. So, let's go back to this. Mobile is gone. Mobile is done. You ever seen the imitation game? The movie, The Imitation Game, is that... Is that the true story about the code breakers during World War II? Is that the imitation game? With, like, um, Cumberbatch? Is that who's in it? If that's what it is, no, I've never seen it. I, I know, I think that's the movie. banger movie is that am i right that's what the imitation game is i haven't i haven't even uh i've never seen it but i think that's what the name of it is i haven't watched anything lately that's good uh my 15 wanted to watch what did he want to watch oh i am legend the god-awful ripoff of the book Coastry. Army of Dead. No, that's the that's a Zack Snyder um, Netflix zombie movie with uh, Batista, right? I actually uh, looked at it last night. I haven't I haven't done it. <laughs> it was Hot Tub Coastry. Uh, let's go through the list. What do I got here? Um. Pulp Fiction at number one. Where did we come... I'm trying to remember how we came up with the list. I think people would just give us an... Um, would just give us a movie and then I was ranking it in here. And just shoving it in. Pulp Fiction, Empire Strikes Back, Star Wars, Alien, Aliens. Rogue One. Godfather, Goodfellas, Godfather 2. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. See, I don't know if I would put that at 10. I think that would go higher for me. It's funny how this stuff was uh, just here when we did this the last time, and now I'm, I'm, not, I'm not happy with some of these things. The Martian. I read the book first. Uh, so I was a little, a little disappointed with the movie, but I liked it. I, I liked The Martian. That was like a family movie. I still haven't seen Tenet, and I still haven't watched the director's cut of Justice League. Still impressed that Liverpool snuck into third? Yes, 100%. What else we got? Tombstone. Yeah, Tombstone's, Tombstone's up there. Top 11. Reservoir Dogs. See, I... I don't, I don't I don't think I've I've watched Reservoir Dogs in probably 10 years. See some of these movies it's been so long since I've seen them. I don't quite know if I'm still happy with it. You think Rogue One sitting too high? No, 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 no. That's my favorite Star Wars film. In fact, I think I would have to swap. I don't know. See, I might I, I think Rogue One is a better movie than Empire Strikes Back. And this is my top 100, too. Citizen Kane might be on here somewhere. Let's see. I, I'm going to go back through where we at. Reservoir Dogs, E.T. Jaws. See, Jaws needs to be higher. Jaws needs to be higher than E.T. Apocalypse Now. The, the 
Stone Director's Cut, The Wind That Shakes the Barley, Mask, as in like, um, are we talking giant Morphe head Max or uh, Jim Carrey Mask? Because it's two completely different movies. <laughs> Definitely two different movies. Who is it? Who who was uh, Cher's son in Mask? That's um, shit. What's his name? Uh, he was in Pulp Fiction. Um, God, I can't remember. Shawshank's got to be on here somewhere. There he is. Shawshank is 27. I haven't gotten that far yet. Fight Club at 18. See, that's one of the few ones that uh, I prefer. I definitely prefer the movie over the book. I think the movie was much was a better movie than than uh, Chuck's Chuck P's book. Seven. That's a movie I've probably seen 50 times. Stoltz. Eric Stoltz. Eric Stoltz. That's it. Jeez, I couldn't remember his name. Inside Man. It's on there somewhere. Uh, Evil Dead. And that is Evil Dead, what, 1984? 80, 81. I had to look that up. 1981 Evil Dead. Not the 2011. Clerks. Inception should be on there. Eric Stoltz was in Mask. He was the kid. Uh, SLC Punk. That, see that might, I think that should be higher on my list. God, I love, I love that movie. That is so good. Crackhead Bob. God, that is, God, that is a great movie. The Holy Grail. Yeah, Platoon. <sighs> Platoon. I don't know if that's... That's definitely not number 24. The gods must be crazy. Jesus, why did I put that up that high? John Carpenter's Halloween. Not that I don't like um, Rob Zombie's version, but we'll see. Shawshank, Heat, First Blood, the best Rambo movie ever made. Natural Born Killers, is it not on here? See, we'll have to add that one. First Blood, The Dark Knight, Full Metal Jacket, Usual Suspects, Green Mile, Force Gump, Rocky. I think Rocky's too low. I think I would move Rocky up. Aliens in there. Aliens number four. We got Return of the King, The Two Towers, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Fellowship of the Ring. Taxi Driver. God, I love that movie. Love Taxi Driver. Love Taxi Driver. Um, Inglorious Bastards. Somebody was just talking about watching that the other day. Any horror movies? There's horror movies on here. Memento. Chris Nolan's Memento. Get Out. Oh, there you go. There's one horror movie. Count of Monte Cristo, Shining, A Walk Among the Tombstones. That probably needs to be a lot lower, too. Big Booty What? The Thing? It's not on here? We need to add The Thing, too. Uh, it. I'm going to do It. Uh... Remake. The e -make, The remake. What year was that made? What was the what year was it? 2017. We'll do that. It 2017. Brick. If you've never seen Brick, oh my god, is that great? That is a fantastic film. 
That might need to be higher. Brick might need to go higher. We'll have to adjust some of this shit around. Uh, the Deer Hunter. Inside Man. Train Spotting. Return of the Jedi. That is definitely too high. That is the, that is the worst of the original three. Porky's Revenge of the Nerds. There's Natural Born Killers. Right now it's at number 56. Inception. Casino, Matrix at 59. No Country for Old Men, Goodwill Hunting. Doctor Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying, and what was that? What's the full title of that? Doctor Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. That's right. Goonies, Gremlins, Law Abiding Citizen. Princess Bride, A Christmas Story, Castaway, King Arthur. There's there's Rubens, The Martian. Tropic Thunder is not on here. I don't think I would put that in my top 100. We need to add John Wick, too. Uh, Castaway, King Arthur. Now, this is King Arthur. This is, uh, for me, this is um, Guy Ritchie's. King Arthur. Wait, was the Martian on here twice? Or is that the only one? The Martian, The Host, Die Hard, Cabin in the Woods, Zathura? Why the hell is Zathura on there? We're going to delete Zathura. That is dumb. Why in the hell do we put that on there? Shaolin, Soccer, Itchy the Killer, Ghost Rider. Let's take Ghost Rider off. Weird Science? Okay, wait, we gotta add... Let's throw John Wick. John Wick's gonna be high for me. John Wick's gonna be incredibly high. We're putting it above Heat. Because if I had a choice, I would rather watch John Hick again... John Wick again than Heat. Uh, What was the other one that we, we need to add? John Wick... There was something else. Someone else said something. Not Tropic Thunder. The Thing. The Thing. Um... I'm, I'm putting that close to Halloween. I'm I'm putting that above... Below, we're putting it... Oh, shit. We're going higher. I'm doing it below SLC Punk. So, John Carpenter's The Thing. The original. I, not that the not that the remake wasn't bad, but the original is much better. Drive with Gosling, that's a great movie. The elevator scene is the best. We'll put Drive on here. It's not going to be that high though. We'll put it down here towards the end. We'll put it. We'll put it below No Country for Old Men. What else? Uh, Natural Born Killers is already on there. Snatch, that would go up here for me. We'll throw in... in. We got, it's funny, there's a lot of Guy, Guy Ritchie and uh, Chris Nolan movies. We'll put it right behind another Chris Nolan movie. Weird Science? Um, I don't know if I'd even put Weird Science on there. The best part about Weird Science was... Uh, um, Robert Downey Crackhead in there. What was this? Police Story, Bleeding Steel, The Foreigner, and Rush Hour. Somebody likes Jackie Chan. Uh, Police Story would go on there. I could put Police Story on there. It would put it. We'll put it uh, right behind a Princess Bride. I don't think I'd put the Bleeding Steel, The Foreigner, or Rush Hour. Ted is... That's such a bad movie, but it's so good. I'm putting it up here in 34. Below Full Metal Jacket. The Big Lebowski. I'm... There's a... Uh, um, I'm not a huge Big Lebowski fan. and I, It pisses people off. Why, I don't know. But it pisses people off. 
Where'd I put the thing? I put it high. Right now I have it number 23. Um, it's not that I don't like the Big Lebowski. It's that I don't think it would it would be very high in my in my list. We'll put it above the host. I don't know if it'll stay though. It may it may get bumped off before this thing goes on. Done. Step Brothers, we're putting Step Brothers way up high. It's going below Fight Club. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. But if it's going right there, then we have to put in Mall Rats right below it. How do we not have Mall Rats on here before? The Golden Child? You know, the funniest the funniest moment in The Golden Child is when the one monk picks his nose and wipes it on his shirt. And Eddie Murphy looks to him and says, uh, he says, I wouldn't do that. It's gonna um it's it's gonna get frozen and then you'll end up scratching yourself. <laughs> Green Mile. That's at 38. Um, let's see. Caddyshack? I'm putting that right. Let's put that above Ted. Right above Ted. No, 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 no. Uh, what else we got? Um, how have I watched so many movies? That's all I do is watch movies. Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, that's definitely up. I'm going to put that above. I'm, I'm making some changes here. We're going to take. We're putting. Jaws. Above Tombstone. We're putting. Saving Private Ryan. Above Reservoir Dogs. Let's see what else? Joey Tribbiani method and start plucking pubes. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is. I have a special place in my heart, and the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre is going to go up top. Um. I'm gonna make. I'm. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna do it. Rogue One and Empire Strikes Back are swapping. And Texas Chainsaw Massacre is going before. Star Wars. I'm doing it. <sighs> Mortal Kombat. Um, I definitely wouldn't do it. The Dictator. I think, honestly, I think The Dictator is probably the worst of the Sasha Baron Cohen movies. I didn't like it. Let's see. What do we got? So there it is. Star Wars drops to fourth. See, I don't think you guys understand how much... Here, look. Uh, if you can see this. Do you see that in the background right there? That is my original... Original... Drive-in theater folded release poster. First print. First print poster that I went and had... I don't know if you can see it or not, but right there, under where it says who will survive and what will be left of him. Let's see if I can... Right. There is a signature. That's Gunnar Hansen's signature. He's who originally played. He played uh, Leatherface in the very first Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I met him. It was a... It was 
I knew he was going to be there. And I was so excited. I brought the poster to get it signed. I had an original Leatherface latex um, mask I had him sign as well. It's like one of the greatest days of my life. That's one of my favorite posters. You gotta see the Mandalorian series on Disney. Of course, I've went through all those. Those were, um, we watched those weekly as they came out. Let's see. Wrong turn? Yeah, I, I don't think I would put that on there. Um, you know what I would put over? What I would put on the list, though, is... Shit, what's the name of it? Um... God damn it. It's a French film. Uh, shit, why can I not remember the name of the movie? We're going to put Martyrs. On there. Right below... Uh, Martyrs is going right below the Matrix. But what the hell's the name of the movie? I'm trying to remember the name of it. Shit, what's the name of that movie? It's it's a French film. And it's got, uh, it's about a girl and she comes and she stays with her friends. How, and it's, there's very little words in the entire film. It's French, it's subtitled. And it's, it, okay, it starts out, she's like, she comes over and she's staying at this girl's house. And she goes up to her room and they, she's given her a, a chance to, she's like in her room. And then all of a sudden, it's really strange. She starts listening to music and then masturbating. And then someone breaks into the house and starts killing people. And it's her running from this killer the entire time. What is the movie? It's not Amelie. No. It's a horror movie. Um, God damn it. What is that movie? Why can I not name, think of the movie? French horror movie. It's old. It's... God damn it. I think it's French. Martyrs is French, but that's not the one I'm talking about. God damn it, why can I not think of the name of the movie? High Tension! God, thank you. Driving me nuts. High Tension. We're putting that in here. Uh, we'll put it in right below Drive. What's another one? Um, Jurassic Park. The original Jurassic Park is going to be pretty high. We'll go back. Why Why are you so grumpy on the, the Green Mile and Forrest Gump being at 41 and 42? They're above Scarface. Um, the Departed's already in there. It's down there a little bit, though. The Departed's good. The, the original's great. 1917. You know, 1917 is going to be high on my list only because of the one. There is a very long scene that is, it's like the longest single shot that as I started watching, I mean, it, there's a scene in that movie 
that it's done in one take and the camera follows follows the actors as they run through like a, a series it takes forever it's it's the longest war cut i've ever seen it's the there, there's a bunch of cuts like that but there's one in particular that is is, is nuts to watch uh, the professional Luke Basson. Yeah. Um, we got six cents. Six cents isn't on here. We'll throw that in here down below. Snatch. The six snatch. That's not right. It's six cents, not the six snatch. What about, was it lucky number Slevin? Um, yeah, we'll put that below in section, in inception. Lucky number 11. If you've never seen that, it's, uh, Bruce Willis and shit. What's his name? He was from, um, all those like nineties horror movies. God damn it. What's his name? Lucky number eleven. God, I can. He was from S Josh Hartnett. Jesus, that's a good movie. It's one of those. It's one of those rip off. Uh, it, it's when like Pulp Fiction became big, and every movie had to have a major plot twist. Lucky number eleven was one of those. It was good. It had Lucy Liu and Josh Hartnett with there's a bunch of people in it that's a gr that's a good movie that's a really good movie the professional we're going high with the professional i don't know how i didn't have that one in here before you know that's that's the movie that started my crush which is such a weird and now, how old was Natalie Portman when that was released? She was born in... How old is she? She was born in 81. She was only 13? My God. Now I feel bad. But yeah. She was awesome. Return of the Jedi should be higher. That is the worst of the original trilogy. It's not that it's a bad movie. It's just it's the worst, worst of the trilogy. The Prestige. Uh, I'm trying to catch up here. The Prestige. That's the one with Wolverine and uh, Batman. It's Wolverine versus Batman. Yes. Wolverine versus Batman. Um... As, you know, you stop and think about it. It's Wolverine versus Batman with Alfred. Wolverine, Batman, Alfred. Uh, is The Prestige a Christopher Nolan movie? Now that I'm thinking about it. Is it? It is a Christopher Nolan movie. That explains the casting choices. Scarlett Johansson was in that? I don't remember that. And David Bowie as Nikola Tesla. Okay, we're putting it high. We're putting it right below. Shawshank. Um, what did I miss? The good, the bad, the ugly. I'm. I was never a big Clint Eastwood fan as an actor. I don't know. Ian Flux. I hated that movie because I grew up on the animation. The animation came out when I was like in junior high, and the entire animated series was fantastic. And then they made it into a film, and the anime and Ian Flux was great. I just. Who was it? Charlize Theron? Was she? She was Ian. That was ugh. 
didn't do anything for me. Hacksaw Ridge, you know, I've it's Ruben says Hacksaw Ridge and I have it recorded and I've never watched it. I have Hacksaw Ridge and there's another one. Um there's another war movie that I have recorded that I've never seen. It's the one um it was because it's like PG-13. Dunkirk it's recorded. I still haven't watched it. Scotty says The Strangers. What is The Strangers? Is that the one with um, Keanu Reeves and the two girls? Or is that the one where the people show up outside the house? Liv Tyler. Okay. Yeah, they come into the house. That Liv Tyler and Scott Speedman. I, I've never seen it. I've never seen The Strangers. I remember the movie. I've just never seen it. Any westerns? There's there's a couple of westerns on the list already. We got Tombstone on there. And, uh... I don't know. The, there's, there should be a few more really good westerns. I, I think I could add. Psycho? I didn't. I wasn't a big Psycho fan. If it made it, it would be towards the bottom. Let's put. Let's do. Uh, let's see. Tombstone is on there. I think I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put Unforgiven. Right below. John Wick. And then. Um, what else? What what other? What's three ten to Yuma? I think we'll leave that off. Open range. We'll throw that out above the Count of Monte Cristo. That's with um. That's with uh. Kev, not Kevin Costner. It's um. Or it is Kevin Costner. It is Kevin Costner. And what's his name? I'm looking it up. Kevin Costner and Do I not have Robert Duvall, that's who it is. Robert Duvall. Home Alone? Oh my god. Last Airbender. I'm gonna I'm gonna get caught up. I'm way behind on this, so I'm gonna cut to the bottom. Costner and Duvall. Silence of the Lands. I don't think I would put that on there. It's not that I didn't like it. I just only put it. Home Alone. Why would you seriously top 100 movies? You you know what is I'm I've got a movie that I think I'm gonna put up here. I'm gonna put it below Jaws, above Tombstone, and. We're going to do I wanted to do the the correct year. The Magnificent 7 is going in 13. That's the remake. I want the the remake of Magnificent Seven on there. Great movie. Love that movie. Any Stanley Kubrick movies? Um, the Shining's already on there. The Shining is on there. Um, I think that's the only one. I don't have like 2001 or anything. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Yes. I, I was is. Uh, there's something about that movie that didn't do it for me. Um, it, it's not that it was a bad movie. It just didn't. I don't know. I did. Maybe it was Johnny Depp. I get. I get, you know, people say that they're like, hey, how did you not like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? And I loved, I loved like, um, 
what's the what's the one with um what's the name of the movie it's I can't remember the name of the movie it's Peter Weir Oh, uh, shit. I gotta look through his movies to see what the hell's the name of the movie is. I keep thinking it's a dark backward. It's not a dark backward. It's... Shit. What the hell's the movie? He's... Naked Lunch. Naked Lunch. See, I like Naked Lunch. I don't think I would put it on here on the top. You know, it's a William Burroughs film. It's it's based off of uh, the novel Naked Lunch, and it's like if you like that, people are like, well, why don't you why don't you like uh, Hunter? I'm not. I'm just not a Hunter Thompson fan. Twelve Angry Men. Doctor Strangelove. That's that's on the list. That's another Kubrick film. The Lord of the Rings trilogy. I, it's all on there. The Lord of the Rings trilogy is on here. It's just... It's not up at the top. I think it's... 54 is Fellowship of the Ring. Return of the King. And then The Two Towers. But I didn't put the Hobbit series. I didn't really... I'm not a huge fan of the Hobbit. I'm going to put... This is going to be a weird one. We're going to put Bad Taste at 94. Putting bad taste at 94. That is, um, it's uh, Peter Jackson, the guy that did all of those, that did that series, but it's not. Hurt Locker. That's uh, Jeremy Renner. That's not Jeremy Renner. It's um Is it Jeremy Renner? It is Jeremy Renner. Anthony Mackie was in that? I don't remember him being in that. So it was The Blue Falcon and Hawkeye and Bombs. Donnie Darko. Yeah. That's going to go high. That one... That I have a special spot in my brain for Donnie Darko. We're putting it right below Fight Club. And we'll put The Hurt Locker below Full Metal Jacket. Any of the Jason Bourne series, second one was the best. I see to me they're all one movie. I, I can't even They're good. And I like the series as a whole. But I don't think I would uh throw them all on there. We've knocked off Ichi the Killer, Shaolin Soccer, Taken is now at a hundred. James Bond films. I, I, I'm not going to put any James Bond films on there. I have the, I have the entire James Bond collection going all the way back. Uh, I have the entire collection on DVD, but I don't think I would put any of them in there. Um, there's one James Bond movie that caused me some serious psychological problems as a kid. I'm not joking. And uh I've I've watched them all, but that one really ruined me for a really long time. Whew. James Bond. Damn.
What else? Uh, Gladiator. You know, there's... I have a copy of a movie called... It's... Never mind. We're not even getting into that. We'll put Gladiator on here. I just watched that not that long ago. We're going to put that below Train Spotting. Is do we have the Patriot on here? I don't think the Patriot's on here. And that should be. We'll put that right below the Gladiator. What else we got? Yeah, Gladiator was a good call. What are some of the other ones? God, there's so many. It's just, this is what we do. We sit here trying to figure out what I'm missing. This is, this is like just what's missing. Pulp Fiction's number one. I don't know if Pulp Fiction's my favorite movie of all time. I don't know if I can say it's my favorite of all time. Uh, it's up there, but I don't know if it's the favorite of all time. Yeah, let's just get rid of FIFA Mobile so we can see it. Troy, that's uh, Brad Pitt, right? I don't think I would put that on the list. Point Break, I'm going to say no on Point Break. But you know what I am going to put on the list? I need to add a few. Uh, we're going to put right below Martyrs. Now this is I'm, I'm getting there. I'm going way around town to get to it. So below Martyrs, we're going to put on... Um, let's see. Shaun of the Dead. And... Below drive, above high tension, we're going to put on hot fuzz. Have you ever... Oh, my, God. Fat Scotty gifted Robbie underscore G underscore Wolves a subscription. Fat Scotty gifted a tier one sub to Robbie underscore G underscore Wolves. They have given 86 gift subs in the channel. 86 subs. Good call, though. Robbie's had some good movies. Some good movies for the list tonight, that's for sure. What else do we have? Um, Martyrs is on there. High Tension is on there. Let's think about it. We have Halloween. You know what's missing? Prince of Darkness. Since we're doing John Carpenter movies, there's a lot of John Carpenter on here. We're putting Prince of Darkness. I'm putting it above Heat. But not above Forgiven. Prince of Darkness. Let's see, what else? We see that what Tarantino movies are missing? What else do we got? Uh... I, I don't know if there's any Tarantino's... Kill Bill. We were going to put Kill Bill in. I'm going to do something strange here. We're going to put... Kill Bill... Volume 1... And 2. I'm making it... It's one movie to me. It's one movie. I can't... I can't separate them out. It should be one movie. Django Unchained. Uh, we'll put that on here, but it's going to be a little lower. We'll put it below high tension. Actually, you know what? We're not, we're going higher with that. We're going above, we're going right below casino. It's going below casino. Legends of the Fall. That's that's Brad Pitt, right? That's long-haired Brad Pitt. I you know, I don't even think I've ever seen it. I don't think I've ever seen Legends of the Fall. But you know what I have seen is A River Runs Through It. Is that the one with uh 
Kevin Bacon, where he takes these guys up into the mountains and he ends up breaking his leg and they, they're going to leave him, but they can't decide. Is that a river runs through it with like, is it one of the Phoenix brothers? It could be, it might be Joaquin or is that, is that the movie I'm thinking of? Is that the right one or is that something else? You know, it does deserve to be on here, though. Ooh, Manchester by the Sea. I'm gonna, I'm putting it on here, but I'm going low. We'll put it right below Inception. A River Runs Through It is narrated by Robert Redford. I got to look that up. I want to know if that's the movie I'm thinking of. 92. It's not the movie I was thinking of. I've never seen it. That is not the movie. What's the one I'm thinking of with Kevin Bacon? Or he's like a camp counselor. It's an old movie. Really old, like 80s. Whitewater Summer? Is that what it is? Kevin Bacon, Sean Astin. That's the movie I was thinking of. Whitewater Summer. I've never seen it. No, I've never seen it. Six months without a podcast. I know. I'm lazy. Yeah, Sean Sean Astin was in it. Did you see Bone Tomahawk? Is that the one with uh, Douglas? Michael, not Michael Douglas. Uh, no. Kirk Douglas? No. Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell. The Dark Knight or The Joker? I think The Dark Knight's on here. The Dark Knight's pretty high. The Joker I do not have in there. It was good, but I, I don't think it was... I don't think it's... I wouldn't I wouldn't have added it to the top 100. Kurt Russell. Bone Tomahawk. That's the one with their cannibals, right? Tombstone's on there. Tombstone's high for me. Tombstone's really high. I'll be your Huckleberry. Uh, where is that at? Tombstone is in 14. That's way up high. A Few Good Men. We'll put that at 63. Can't handle the truth. God, what else is missing? There's got to be movies missing here. So the Kill Bill. Um, we're talking about... What's what's the name of the remake where um God damn it it's Matt Damon and shit the girl from Pitch Perfect and it's he plays Rooster Cogburn it's a remake Why can't I remember her name? It is... What is the name of it? I'm looking at... I'm trying to find it here. True Grit. That's what it is. The Rock. Haley Steinfeld is the... She was the girl from Pitch Perfect. The Rock's the one with uh, Nick Cage and Sean Connery. Um, 
the accountant that's going on there we're putting the accountant at I'm putting it at 49 is the accountant and we're putting true grid higher we're putting it at 40 just below unforgiven Titanic no 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 Anna Kendrick she was in the accountant me loves me some Anna Kendrick heart of darkness that's uh um Michael Douglas no Michael Douglas and ah uh, shit um You know what that reminds me of, though? Another movie that should be on here. Which is... Hurt Locker's on the list. Yeah, it's been a long time. I saw it once. I saw it in the theater when it was first released. With Jeremy Renner. Um, shit. What the hell's the name of that movie? The Salton Sea. If you've never seen The Salt and Sea, God, that is a fantastic movie. We're putting Fury up here right above Evil Dead below 7. And that's only because uh, Shia LaBeouf didn't shower for the entire production. Heart of Darkness, I meant as the book Apocalypse Now is based on. Oh, never mind. I didn't know that was based on The Heart of Darkness. I thought you were talking about the movie with uh, Michael Douglas and skinny Val Kilmer. The Da Vinci Code? Inferno. Is Inferno the... Um, is Inferno the the movie that um, was supposed to be like a knockoff of um, like Cannibal Holocaust? If I think, I think it's. Is Inferno, is that Eli Roth's knockoff of Hannibal Holocaust? And if that's the case, then I would say no, but a Cannibal Holocaust should be in there. Oh, Inferno. What the hell is that? Is that the third? Is that the third movie in... You know what? I've never seen that. I've never seen Inferno. The third film in the Da Vinci trilogy. I've never seen it. What's the... What's the knockoff of... Um, Eli Roth knockoff of... Cannibal Holocaust. I can't remember the name of it. Green Inferno. Green Inferno. Close Encounters. We're putting that high. Uh, we're going to go above E.T. And I'm adding... We're going to do... A Clockwork Orange... There we go, another Stanley Kubrick movie. Above Saving Private Ryan. I've never seen Inferno. I've never seen it. American Sniper, that was good. I read the book, though. Okay, Blade Runner is definitely going on the list. Um, Blade Runner and Alien 
are two of the reasons that I went to college. Blade Runner. Sid Mead is the designer behind Blade Runner. Uh, Geiger was the designer behind Alien. And Sid Mead was the designer behind Blade Runner. And Sid Mead was my idol when I was a kid. That's why I went into the movies. That's why I went to become an industrial designer. was just because of Sid Mead. Twelve Monkeys. See, I think you have to watch California, 12 Monkeys, and Snatch. If you watch those three movies, and then um, Fight Club. Yeah. 12 Monkeys, California, Snatch, and Fight Club. If you watch those four movies and are not a massive Brad Pitt fan, don't talk to me. The guy is a legend. I haven't seen... I haven't watched Parasite yet. I haven't seen it. I can't put it on the list. Interstellar, I think it's on here. Or maybe it isn't. I saw Inception. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Interstellar. We'll put that high. We'll put that right below Kill Bill. See, we're knocking a bunch of stuff off. There's a lot of movies that are coming off the list now. We have more than 100. Um, what else we got? Well, tickle mootities. Moe's 5150 just resubscribed for two months. Thanks for the resub. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters would need to be on there. That was that was a big movie as a kid. We'll put that right below Jurassic Park just because of sentimental sentimentality. The first one, not the second one. Uh, City of God. I've never seen City of God. I know the movie. I've just never watched it. The Curious Case of Benjamin Buttons. Yeah. God, Brad Pitt's great in everything, though. Parasite is on Hulu. I've I've never seen uh, The Wolf of Wall Street with uh, Leo. You know what my favorite Leonardo DiCaprio movie is, though? The Beach. I don't know if I'd put it on the list. I don't think it makes the list. But The Beach is a fantastic film. Okay, Ready Player One. I'm not, I'm not putting it on the list. Uh, and the reason is that's one of those movies that I, I enjoyed the book so much more than I ever did the movie that I, I don't think I can put it on. I just don't think I can do it. I loved Ready Player One, the book. Just, I wasn't a massive fan of the, of the movie. Baywatch? I've never seen Baywatch. That's the one with The Rock, right? I've never seen it. And I never saw The Big Short either. I haven't watched The Big Short. Credible value for your money. Thanks. I appreciate that. Spy Game. That's Robert Redford, right? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Spy Game? That's an older film. Like, early 90s. Robert Redford and Brad Pitt. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever seen that more than... I don't think I've seen it. I saw it one time and that's it. The Incredibles? I'm not putting The Incredibles on the list. I wonder... I'm thinking, is there, are there any... Um, the Mexican. You know, the 
whenever I think of that movie, the only scene that comes to mind is when he goes to when he first goes to Mexico and he gets a car rental and he's like, I want, can I get something authentic? And they, the car rental place is like, what are you talking about? And then he goes out and he gets in it and he sits down and they give him a, a Chevy El Camino. El Camino. You know what does need to go on here though? True romance. That needs to be pretty high. We're putting that right below John Carpenter's Halloween. True romance. There's a Quentin Tarantino movie I forgot. Uh, God, that's that's a great movie. True romance. What's a Drexel? That's Big titted blonde with an ass that tastes like French vanilla ice cream. God, that's a great movie. Uh, Training Day. I just the my son was wanting to watch some movies, and he's like, "What's a really good, uh, what's a really good action movie?" And we were and we started going through trailers for movies that I thought he would like that we haven't watched in a long time. And uh, one of them was was. Uh, training Day. We looked at Training Day and then um, Street Kings. See, I like Street Kings more than Training Day. Training Day was excellent. And we're going to put it on here. I'm putting it down below The Shining. But I'm also putting Street Kings above it. Street Kings is the one with um True Romance is technically Tony Scott. It was directed by Tony Scott, but wasn't True Romance written by... Wasn't it... It was directed by Tony Scott, but it was written by Quentin Tarantino. Yes. The Grand Budapest Hotel. Never seen it. Mulholland Drive's good. That's a great movie. Street Kings. You guys seen Street Kings? God, Street Kings is fantastic. It's like Training Day on crack. What did I just watch? I just watched one with... Well, it's not just watched, but like six months ago. With... um, It was Shia LaBeouf and... A whole bunch of people are in it. God, who is it? Old Mean Streets with Harvey Keitel and Arvin is really good. Harvey Keitel and De Niro. What was that called? Mean Streets? Is it just Mean Streets? Mean Streets, yeah. I, I've seen, shit, I haven't seen that in years. Transformers? I would say yes for Transformers. Just for Megan Fox's ass. That would be the only reason. <laughs> what else do we have? Brick's on there. I'm looking at the list. I love Brick. God, that's such a good movie. Uh, De Niro on top of a table. Goodfellas is in here, right? And Casino. I need to watch Goodfellas again. I haven't seen that in a long time. Life is Beautiful. What? What is the movie? That's Balotelli. What's the movie with... There's there's a true story about a uh, a an autistic guy with severe Aspergers that he he's a, a piano prodigy and he he basically breaks his own mind learning to play a piece of piano writing it or learning to play it what the hell is that movie. 
Beautiful mind. Not a beautiful mind. Um, life is beautiful reminding me of it. And I don't think it's the same act. Shine. That's what it is. Is it... And it's... Shine... That's, uh... Shit, who is it? It's, um... Jeffrey Rush. Oh, what did you get? Oh, serious? Oh, shit. Jeffrey Rush. David Helfgott. That's a... God, that's a good movie. We're adding that. We're putting that in here. It won't be really that high, but it's going to be in here. We're going to put it above a few good men. Whiplash. I know what Whiplash is. Um, it's the drumming movie. Uh, but I, I've never seen it. It's got the farmer's insurance guy from Oz. I can't, I can't look at him, and that's all I think about is... Is uh, Oz? I can't remember his name on the series. Boondock Saints. Scotty wins. The very first Boondock Saints is going to be really high. That is going to be right below Saving Private Ryan. Fuck. <laughs> the. It's the best use of Tourette's in a movie ever. <laughs> you have not seen some really good movies. What really good movies haven't I seen? What have I not seen that, that you guys think are really good movies? Harry Potter. Uh, see, again, uh, see, that's for me. Um, it's... Which ones? Which ones... Neil, let me know which ones. Harry Potter, I, I can't... It, it's because I like the books so much better than um, the films. The Big Short, I still... I, see, I don't... I'm, my, The Wolf of Wall Street, The Big Short, those kind of films, it... I usually have to have nothing else to do to watch to watch that kind of movie. It's it's not my favorite. It's uh, the movies that I would like if I have a chance to watch a movie. It's gonna I would lean towards I would lean more towards action or art house than drama. The only time I end up watching something kind of mainstream drama like that is is when okay is when uh i i need to sit down and watch it with somebody else that wants to see it all right i just found out my food is here dinner is here for me all right how long we're only on for about an hour and a half all right guys ruben says ice age jesus I will say that when Ice Age came out, there was a trailer that had Scrat where he got stuck between two glaciers that I cried for forever. Like, I laughed so hard for a very long time. All right, guys, that's where we're going to end it. Uh, it was fun. This was a fun hanging out stream. Just something different. I haven't done this in a while, and it was a chance to sit down with a few beers and kind of screw around with the stream thanks a lot for hanging out uh, like this time finally caught the end of a stream yeah all right guys thanks for uh hanging out with me tonight and i will be back on what is tomorrow tomorrow is wednesday yeah i will be back tomorrow normal time 30 before reset and we'll we'll do it there i have a good night ruben it's it's late for you you need to go to bed. Got to go watch a movie. See, that's what we should do. We're going to go watch a movie. I am definitely going to sit down and watch a movie tonight, too. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Uh, that's where we're going to end it. Obviously, nobody's on at this time. Uh, we'll see. Sorry, Dad. All right. Thanks. Thanks to Ruben for help mod this. 
Thanks to uh, Robbie and Scotty and Neil for some really good suggestions for the list. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.